So this will be in the vlog, where right now, for the past couple hours, we've just been getting... The, ah, I don't even know. <laughs> Can't even see, like, my step or anything. It's just been crazy high winds and a lot of snow. <laughs> Although, it is some cool footage, because I get to document it. Also, I have an awesome idea for the intro. Morning folks. That's right. Fur on fur on fur. Just woke up. Kids got a snow day today. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what's on the agenda as of yet. I still gotta have a shower and everything. Yeah. Roll out an intro that I actually filmed last night. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. Is it your world? You're the creator. I have freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Because you can do it. Relax. Let it flow. My coffee's hot. It's ready to go. It's a little hot. Let's give it a blow. Oh my dear, I hate to say goodbye. Gotta show your coffee a little love, you know? Sing to it. Let it know that it's in a comfortable environment. This is a safe spot. Something I wanted to talk about, because it's kind of bugging me. Um, the other day I posted a picture, like a little selfie or whatever. Like, kind of like, cheersing with my, my coffee mug and smiling. And a lot of people have hit me up saying that that picture like made them laugh or they thought it was really funny and shit I was just trying to throw a smile out there what like I was trying to be serious and be like hey like you know what let's fucking share a smile and like you guys think I'm I, I don't know I don't know how to feel about it I don't know how to feel about it I'm just kidding I'm fine it doesn't it doesn't even hurt me and I like what my emotions emotion I'm just playing I just thought that was kind of funny like I throw, like, a serious selfie out there or whatever, and everyone kind of thought it was a joke. Ah! Either way. Walking dead time, folks. Uh, I have the worst feeling that everything is not going to be hunky-dunky. Gas, 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 it's a gas ball. Indoor hat for the win. Alright, just finished Season 7, Episode 9. It's a good one. We see King Ezekiel and Rick Grimes talking. We see we, we got to see Daryl again. We still don't know what's happening with Eugene, so that's kind of bullshit. Um, what else? I don't want to give it away, but I think we are going to encounter like a whole new camp, like. Probably, like, I don't know, I don't even think these people are from the comics. So, I think this is something originally, like, done for the show. Um, right now, they're kind of, like, in the March to War storyline, where, like, Rick is trying to get everybody, uh, gr like, unified together to go and fight the Saviors and Negan. Um, but, yeah, ah, I just don't... It was good. I don't want to spoil any of it, really, because, like, I don't like doing that for people. So, go check it out, either way, but it, it was, it's dope, um, this sets up, like, the, even just this episode itself, it, it sets up a lot in the show, like, story-wise, just character, everything, um, oh, very exciting, and I'm sure you guys are excited to be harassed every week with, you know, me talking about Walking Dead again, right? So, of course. Oh, yeah. I was gonna, sh gonna share this with you. Yesterday, I joined a gym. Yeah, got a gym bag. Even got a, even got a t-shirt from them. It's, it's actually pretty dope. I like it. Uh, it's just kind of like a nice, like, quiet gym. Uh, no, I'm gonna put this down. I like it. It's a nice, quiet gym. Uh, you see people of like all sizes and everything. So really, like, I don't know, like, if you're self-conscious or anything, you kind of go in there, and it's all bueno, like, it, that all goes away, you know what I mean? Um, and they got these, like, hydro 
massage chairs and beds. Like, I, I don't know. It's just it's super dope. But yeah, join the gym. That's pretty fun. The only reason I'm so, like, stoked about it is because I always said, like, I'd probably never join a gym. And I, like, wasn't really for them and everything like that. But, yeah, I don't know. I did it. I even signed up for the one-year commitment and everything because... I don't know, it's just like the treadmills, the elliptical, like, there's just, there's so many, there's different things at the gym that I can do, or that I can't do at home. Alright, I'm chilling right now watching uh, a movie on Netflix called The Last King. It's pretty dope. Um, it's like Vikings and everything like that. Uh, so far, the story is, th there's a lot of elements that'll draw you in. Well, at least it drew me in. Uh, the cinematography of it is super dope. I'm going to see if I can find, uh, a clip of the first scene and put it in when it's just like a blanket of fog and one by one you see like these Viking riders coming out on their horse and everything. Like, yeah, I'm going to try and find that clip. Hopefully I can, but, uh, either way, check it out. The Last King. All right. I might be a little crazy, but I'm pretty sure Sia was in that Walking Dead episode. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that I saw her. So, we're gonna hunt this down. Two hours later. I fucked up on all sides here, folks. One, it wasn't the episode I just watched, it was the preview for the next episode I saw. And, the girl is not Sia, she's just got the same haircut as her. Completely different accent, completely different face, everything. I fucked up. Alright, so let's redeem myself. I got something to address on Instagram. Last night I went to transfer the podcast file over. Um, the USB ate it somehow. I don't know what happened. Either way, Hamil Fett sent something in and I want to talk about it today. So when people look at you when you are talking and you think they're listening, but they're only forming in their head about they're only forming in their head about what they are going to say when you stop talking and then twist part of what you said. Man, I've dealt with this a lot from a lot of different people. Um, just recently I realized I can't really have like certain debates or conversations with certain people in my life because too much of an ego comes into play with a lot of people. They think they've figured everything out or they just, they're better than a lot of other people. Whatever the reason is, um, with those type of people, you just got to realize like, okay, cool. Like I'm not going to have these type of conversations with you or, or I'm just, I'm not going to debate things with you. Um, it's obvious you have something going on with yourself, whether it's insecurities, uh, too much ego, whatever it is, uh, you're just waiting for, you're just waiting to like twist something on someone. When the thing is when people do that, they never ever admit to it. They're like, Oh, they always ask like how you're twisting it. You tell them how you, how they're twisting it. And they say like, I don't know. It's, we've all been there. We've all dealt, dealt with these type of people. Um, honestly, dude, like, I just keep try and keep calm and just keep telling them like, listen, like you're either like what you're doing or saying like that I, you're saying that I did or whatever, like that, that's a very gross mischaracterization of like what I just said or anything in this conversation. So let's calm down, keep dramatics out of it if we can. Cause like when you start like almost mocking the other person, there, there is no room for conversation. Um, it's one of those things, like, you try and keep it, like, calm, try and, like, keep logically explaining things for a little bit. Eventually, just tell them, like, you know what? You're probably right. Just leave it at that. It doesn't have to be true. Just, yeah, you're probably right. They obviously care about, care about, like, whatever this is more than you do, especially if they're willing to, like, twist things and create arguments or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, yeah, you know what? You're probably right. You know, coffee actually. You know, coffee actually stunts your growth and could cause a lot of different bone diseases. Yeah, you're probably right. It doesn't like. It's one of those things. Some people, they just like to argue. They like to. Tw they like to twist shit and whatever it is. A lot of the time, it could be from ego. It could be from insecurities that they have, and they're projecting them on you. My only solution I can give to anybody out there that's dealing with these type of people: one. Realize the type of conversations and debates that you can have with these people and realize whether or not like they're one mature enough two they think logically enough three are they going to be able to have like a level headed calm discussion about things if not don't have those conversations with them 
if it's a constant thing in that person's behavior, get that person out of your life. I don't care if they're a friend, family member, you run a charity group together, you jump on your motorcycles with 13 other friends and get coffee every Sunday morning, whatever it is, cut that person out of your life because they're going to keep doing it. They're going to drag you down and you are going to be a frustrated person. No one wants to get frustrated. No one wants to be a Debbie Downer. So keep those people out of your life or identify the certain things that you can talk about with them and you can't talk about with them. Bam, hope that redeemed myself for shit in the bed on the sea, I think. Glad away in the chair. All right, folks, uh, we're gonna cut today's vlog for now. Um, just got some kind of shitty news. So I'm gonna go deal with that and uh, figure out a couple avenues that I can uh, stroll down for options, you know what I mean? So thank you for checking today's vlog out. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, roll outro. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe, I believe.